Hello, Odooers, and welcome. Emails have a big impact on our lives as consumers, professionals, and individuals. As Stealthy Wood, we use them as part of our marketing strategy since it allows us to reach a large number of customers at a low cost while being able to customize our message in a way that resonates with them. It also is a measurable and a call to action oriented channel because whether we realize it or not, most of the time we will reply, forward, click through, sign up, or even buy something from an email we receive. We really should take advantage of that, right? So let's check it out right now. All right, here I am on my database. Let's go to the email marketing application. And the first thing we're going to see here is an overview of all of our emails. So the ones that we are planning to send that are in the process of being sent and that are actually sent. All right, and I actually would like to send an email to the subscribers to my newsletter mailing list that I've already created. So let's go ahead and look at this draft email that I've created, all right? The subject is, hey, check out our newest bright ideas. And for the recipients, I've chosen um, some members of one of my mailing lists, okay? So the people who have subscribed to my newsletter, and I can select more than one mailing list if I would like to, but I've only selected that one for now. Okay, then below I have chosen one of the email templates that Odoo provides and I've added my own images. All right, I'm gonna show you what those email templates look like in just a little bit. Okay, but for now, let's go ahead and um, save this. And you're gonna notice that it, it, it's in the draft stage right now, uh, but let's send it. So I can either schedule when it will be sent, so a specific date and time, or I can send it right away. So let's click on the send button. Odoo will ask me if I would like to uh, proceed just to be sure, which is always nice. I don't wanna accidentally click on the send button. So let's say okay. And then I'm gonna see when the uh, email will actually be sent. So it'll be scheduled for a little bit later today um, as soon as the scheduler is run. Okay, and this is nice because it gives me a bit of buffer time. So it's only an hour from now, but we're gonna see that the stage changed from draft to in queue. Okay, and we're going to be able to check that out um, from the Kanban view as well. So it went from draft to in queue. And what's nice when it's in the queue is we can actually cancel it if we need to. Okay, so maybe we realize after checking it over again that we made a huge typo in the middle of our email. We can go ahead and cancel it and that will put it back in the draft stage. But we're not going to do that for now. But what I will do is go to configuration settings. And from the settings page, we want to be sure we have the mailing campaigns option activated, which I already do. Now, this will allow us to see the campaigns uh, menu item, um, but it's also really nice because we can, first of all, organize our campaigns, but we also will be able to centralize the metrics uh, for all of the channels that we're using. So if I'm sending SMSs, emails, as we're doing here, um, even social media posts or push notifications. So I'll be able to see all of those metrics from the same campaign. So let's create a new one. We're gonna to go to campaigns and create. Okay, so here I'm gonna call this campaign social media. I will be the responsible for now. And then I'm gonna add some tags as well. So let's say 2020 social media and also newsletter because I'm gonna send a newsletter right away. So we're gonna save. And of course we can um, send either an email, an SMS, a social post, or we can make a push notification as well. But let's create a new mailing. Okay, so first of all, I need to add a subject. So I'm going to say, hey, follow us on Twitter. All right, and then I'm going to choose one of my mailing lists uh, for my recipients. So the people who subscribe to my newsletter, of course. And then I'm going to choose one of the templates that Odoo has for me. Um, so I'm just going to choose this one right here and modify it a bit. So let's go ahead and add the Stealthy Wood logo. Okay, I can change the size. Um, I like the 50%, let's keep it like that. Okay, I'm gonna remove Michael Fletcher's name here. Sorry, Michael. And then I'm going to paste my own text. Okay, so that was really fast and it's pretty simple. Um, but let's go ahead and before we save actually, let's jump over to the settings tab. Okay, here I can actually assign a different responsible for this specific email. So you saw that I was the responsible for the campaign entirely, but I can add, I can assign different people uh, to be responsible for specific things, uh, such as this um, newsletter blast. All right, and that's really nice. Maybe I want Eduardo to write it and edit it um, before it's sent. I can assign him and he will be notified that he's been assigned as the responsible for this email. But I will remain the email for now. 
What else is really cool is that I can change the email address, uh, the send from and the reply to. So perhaps for the send from, I wanna say simply SW, um, we'll just say at example.com. But if, I, if some of my subscribers are replying to the email, maybe I want them to reply to SW info. Okay, and I can add a different email there, which is really cool. We'll also be able to attach some files from this tab as well, so keep that feature in mind. So now let's save this. Okay, and before I send it, I want to test what will happen. So I'm gonna click on the test button. Okay, I'm gonna add a recipient. And of course, a real email will be sent, but here I can choose who it will be sent to so I can check out what it will actually look like when it's received in my subscribers' mailboxes. Okay, so let's go ahead and say the John Smith Odu at gmail.com. And then I'm gonna click on send sample mail. As soon as I click on that, it will be received in my inbox. Okay, and I can go ahead and click on this and I'll be able to see exactly what I just created. And it looks really nice. I can click on my link. I'll be redirected to, uh, to Stealthy Woods Twitter. Okay, but let's go back to Odoo. All right. I'm going to leave this in the draft stage for now. Of course, I can send it as I showed you at the beginning of this video. But what we're going to do is go to the campaign, our social media campaign that I created. Now, I'm going to be able to see the related or the email that I just created here um, from the campaign overview. And I will be able to see all of the emails um, that I associate with this campaign, because, of course, you can send uh, more than one email per campaign. And then I'm going to be able to see the metrics um, per the mail that I send. So here it's in the status draft. And then I'll be able to see um, when I send it, I'll be able to see um, how many were delivered, open, replied to, um, or bounced. Okay, I can also duplicate this email if I see that it's really successful or I worked really hard on it and I want to use this as a template. I can click on the duplicate button. And then I will have a new draft email that I can customize a bit more. All right, so that's super cool. And it, of course, will be associated with that campaign as well. So here I see two emails um, that I created under this campaign. And then below, I'm going to be able to see the metrics for all of the emails. So that's really nice. Um, but let's actually go to all of our emails. And we're going to check out what that look, those metrics look like once I've actually sent the email. So let's click on this one here. All right, so I have that at the top. Okay, I have these smart buttons. I'm gonna be able to see how many were received, open, replied to, and bounced, as I mentioned earlier. And we can also see how many emails were not able to be sent either. Now, I showed you how you can duplicate the email from the campaign, but you can always um, duplicate as well by going to action and duplicate. And you have the same option on the campaign overview itself. So you can even duplicate an entire campaign, which is really cool. Now, the last thing I want to show you in this video is where you can create new mailing lists because I like to manage my newsletters, for example, um, with just a simple list or other emails I sent. I want to choose um, different mailing lists. So I go to the mailing list menu item and I can create one right here. So I have three different lists and I can also manage my mailing list contacts from this menu item as well. All right. So it's as simple as that. That's all for the email marketing video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.